Hello, and welcome to this week's Lenten devotion of Central Presbyterian Church. I am so glad that you're joining us, and I am Debbie, Central's Congregational Care Provider. Our organist, Allison, will now play Ah, Holy Jesus. As you listen to Allison beautifully playing the organ, consider focusing your thoughts on Jesus' suffering. Let's listen. As you pondered Jesus' suffering, did you picture him dying on the cross? Or maybe Jesus feeling betrayed by a friend? Perhaps you could picture him grieving the loss of one dear to him. Yes, Jesus suffered. While he is truly fully God, Jesus was also fully human and suffered just as you and I suffer. Today, the first chapter of the Gospel of Mark, verses 12 and 13, will be the focus of our time together. We read, The Spirit immediately drove him into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, enduring temptations from Satan. He was with wild animals, and angels were ministering to his needs. The season of Lent is forty days. And in the Bible, 40 appears to be a kind of proving ground. There were many times God's people, even his most favored people, were tested when they endured 40 days or 40 years. God loved Noah, and God had it rain for 40 days and 40 nights while Noah was in the ark. Moses kept sheep for 40 years before God used him for the really big stuff. Israel, God's chosen people, were in the wilderness for 40 years. There are other examples where we see God testing people, where God gives them hardships, trials, suffering, to see what they are made of, how strong their faith is, And he does this with those people he really loves. Why do you suppose Jesus went into the wilderness? Because the Holy Spirit led him. The original Greek verb implies that there was a compulsion or a strong pressure for Jesus to go, as if he were forced into the wilderness. Interestingly, Jesus went into the wilderness immediately after being baptized. Maybe think of Jesus' baptism as a big high for Jesus. Jesus' baptism is one of the rare times when the Bible shows the Holy Trinity is present. The Holy Spirit comes down, and God the Father is speaking, and Jesus is told that he is the beloved. Heaven has opened And now, Jesus finds himself in the company of Satan. Satan will go after anyone, even God's own son. 
Satan knows our weaknesses. And when we are vulnerable to attack, we are all tempted and we all sin. But Jesus showed us when he was in the wilderness in the other gospels, how to stay strong during times of temptation. We can know what the Bible says, we can prioritize God's will over our own, and we can worship God above anything else. We too can go through times of our own wildernesses, times of testing, trials, suffering, and temptation. Perhaps these might be our proving grounds. Maybe we have gone from when things were going along just swell. And then from out of nowhere, we find ourselves in some wilderness, as if we were sent there, unexpectedly cast off and left to figure it out. More likely than not, no one willingly goes into this kind of wilderness. But experiencing temptations, trials, and suffering does build our spiritual muscles. We are compelled, forced to rely on God and not ourselves. And isn't that really hard to do? During this season of Lent, I encourage you to rely on God, to stand strong during the times of trials, and know that you are not alone. God is always by your side, caring for you. Will you join me in prayer? God, our heavenly King, you love us dearly. May we find ourselves in a wilderness time, knowing that you are beside us and helping us through. When temptation strikes, give us the strength to tell Satan no. And should we become weak, forgive us when we fall short. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's peace be with you.